Hello, hello, good afternoon. Okay, welcome to your language class. Hi, Alison. Mateo Salmeron, welcome. Hello. Hello. Okay, Adrian, Daniela Blandón, Mateo Estrada, Ariana, Gabriel. Okay. Julio. Okay, let's see him and Enriquez, Mario. Welcome to your language class. Okay, remember this class is a review class. Yes, that means we'll make a review about the topics that I evaluate in your class. Yes, we don't use our book today. No usaremos libro ahora, chicos, porque esta es una clase de repaso, okay? Okay, excellent. So let's see, this one is a review class, yes? We remember the topics that I evaluate in the test. Okay, excellent, good job. Okay, thank you for writing in the chat present. Remember, you enter to the class and you write a letter P or maybe the word present, yes? Okay, good job. Excellent, thank you. Okay, so let's see, I share my screen with you, yes? Okay. Let me check this part. Excellent. Okay, so let's see. This one is our language review class for the different topics that I evaluate, okay, in your test. Let's see. Okay, the first one is compound words. Yes? Okay, remember, what is a compound word? This one is two words that we put together and then we make a new word, okay? That's mean we create a new, a new word. For example, you have here three pictures, yes? Okay, the first one is this one. Okay, dough house. So if you see, this one is a compound word because we have two words in it. The first one is dog, and the second one is house. So you say dough house, yes? Okay. Then we have hot dog, okay? So we have the word hot, and then we have dog, and we say hot dog, yes? Okay, next one, bath tough, okay? We have the first one that is bath, and the second one that is tough, and we say bath tough, yeah? Okay, so that's mean. When we put two words together and we create a new word, this one we call compound word, yes? Okay, when you put two words together and then you create a new word, this one are compound words, yes? Okay, excellent, good job. Okay, no, this one is language review. Este es el repaso de language, chicos, okay? Este es un repaso de language. Yes, okay, in writing no vamos a tener repaso. Okay, usted ya tuvo que haber hecho sus evaluaciones o si no las ha hecho todavía puede hacerlas, ¿sí? Y enviármelas. Okay, excellent. So let's see, let's continue. This one are compound words, yes? Okay, now we have this part, we have this exercise. So we have some drawings and we have the words. We have butter, rattle, space, back, foot. We have a snake, okay, back, ball, fly, and ship, okay? So, and you tell me, what is the compound word that we can form with these two? Okay, so let's see. Let me check the participation in that case. Okay, um, let me see, okay. Mateo Salmeron, help me please. Okay, tell me one compound word that we can put or then we can form with these two words. Okay. Ah, yes, okay. Yes, Mateo, thank you. Okay, so let's see. Where, um, okay, but you are connected with the sound right now, yes? Okay, then I'll give you the participant. Okay, Miss, I'm in the audio. Okay, 
Dígame entonces, ¿cuál es la respuesta? Ok. Quiero ver. Ok. So let's see. Ok, think about that. Yes, vamos a pensar un poquito. Sí, después le doy la participación. No se preocupe. Ok. Ok. Ok, excellent. So let's see. Now, let's see Paulette. Ok, tell me then, Aaron. Ok. Give me the word. Ok. Spaceship. Okay, space plus ship, spaceship, yes, okay, space plus ship, spaceship, good job, okay, Aaron, now is your turn, okay, let's see, tell me, other words, good morning, me. good afternoon, <laughs> yes, okay, tell me, <laughs> back plus Pack. Okay. Backpack. Excellent. Okay. Back plus pack. Backpack. Yes. Okay. Good job. And we form another compound word. Okay. Daniela Navas and then Jimena Enriquez. Yes. Okay. Dani. Uh, food plus ball. Okay. Food plus ball. Football. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Good job. Let's see. Next one. Okay, Jimena Enriquez. Wait, Jimena. I'm looking for you. Let's estoy buscando, yes? Okay, tell me. Jimena. Good afternoon, Miss. Good afternoon. Butter plus fly, butterfly. Okay, butter plus fly. Exactly, butterfly, yes? Okay. Let me move this one. Let's see. Butterfly, yeah, okay. And the last one, what is this one? Okay, Alejandro Mendoza, tell me. Radio plus snake, radial snake. Okay, yes, this one, okay. Radial plus snake, radial snake, yes, okay. Good job, so let's see. Let me add this part, okay, this one, yes. Okay, so butter plus fly, butterfly. Rachel plus a snake, Rachel snake. A space plus sheep, okay, a spaceship. And back plus pack, backpack. Foot plus ball, football, yes. Okay, we have a lot of compound words. Okay, excellent, good job. So we continue right now. And remember, a compound word is a word if we put together two words and form a new one, yes? Okay, good job. So let's see. Now, the possessive nouns. Okay, so this one, possessive nouns. Check this part. You know that a possessive noun is when an object belongs to you, yes? Okay, and we have different examples here. If it's a common noun, we add the letter S. Yes, okay, for example, here we have this part. Yes, okay, dog house. Okay, that's mean this little house belongs to the dog. Yes, okay, dog house. That's mean this house belongs to the dog. Books words. Okay, that's mean all the words that we have in it belongs to the book, yes? Girls dolls, okay, that's mean these dolls belongs to the girl. Birds cheeks, that's mean all of these cheeks belongs to the birds, yes? Okay, cars engine, okay, that's mean this one belongs to the car. Sister room, this room belongs to my sister. Jim's pen, this pen belongs to Jim, yes? And my mom bag, this bag belongs 
to my mom. Yes, this one are possessive. When we write an apostrophe and also an S, this one, yes? This one are possessive, okay? For example, if you say in Spanish, la casa del perro. So you say in English, dog house, books, words, yes? Or if you say the words of the book, okay? This one is a short form to say that. Es una forma corta de decir que algo pertenece a alguien o a otro objeto. Okay, for example, books, words, girls, dolls, birds, chicks, cars, engine, sisters, room, gyms, pen, and my mom's back. Yeah. Okay, let's check this part. This one is in singular. Okay. Cuando usted tiene un objeto que está en singular, usted solamente le va a poner una apóstrofe y una S. Yes? Okay. But if you have a plural noun, okay, if the noun ends in S, you only add the apostrophe. For example, boys, ball. La pelota de los chicos. Está en plural, ¿verdad? Okay. For that reason, we only add apostrophe. And what is an apostrophe? Is the, this little symbol. Ese es el apóstrofe. Un pequeño símbolo. Yes? Okay. Tablets. Okay, no, in that case, no tablet. It's tables. Tables, leg. Okay. Girls, hands. Yes? All of these words are in plural. If you notice, okay, this word ends with S. For that reason, we only add apostrophe. Yes? Okay. Let's see. Next one. Women's bag, children's doll, men's shoes. If the noun doesn't end in S, you add apostrophe S. Si el nombre está en plural, ok, y no termina con S, entonces usted le agrega apostrofe S. Yes, women's bag, children's dolls, men's shoes. Yes, okay, this one are the three rules for possessives. Okay, Alejandro Romero, do you have a question? <clears throat> no, okay, excellent. So let's see, thinking that, piensen esto, yes? Okay, if you have a singular now, you only add apostrophe S. Yes, if this one is possessive. If you had a plural now that ends in S, you only add apostrophe. But if you have a plural noun and this one doesn't end in S, so you only add apostrophe S, yes? Okay, this one is the most important part here that you remember for the, for the test on tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we have the language test, yes? Okay, so let's see. Now we practice. Okay, we complete each sentence and we write the possessive form to the noun in parentheses, okay? This one, remember, help us to show belonging. And you have one example here. Okay, you have in parentheses the word puppy, yeah? And you write the puppy's toy squeaks, yes? Okay, that's mean this toy belongs to the puppy, yeah? Okay, excellent. Let's see next one, Alison, okay, number two. What is the answer in that case? The boy. Okay. I write apostrophe or only yes? Uh, I write apostrophe. Okay, apostrophe S, yes. Okay, the boy's pants are black, yes? Okay, in that case, we talk about only one. So we write apostrophe S, yes? Okay, excellent, thank you very much. So let's see, next participation, okay? Uh, let me check in that part. Okay, Daniela Blandon, number three. That, you have in parentheses, bird. Feathers are yellow. The bird, uh... There's apostrophe. Okay. okay. 
S. Okay, good job. Okay, the birds' feathers are yellow. Las plumas del pájaro, yes? Okay, the birds' feathers are yellow. In that case, bird, this one is in singular. For that reason, we only add apostrophe S, yes? Okay, number four. This is, we have Sarah jacket. This is, what do you think is the, the correct option in that part? Okay, Nicole Garcia, help me please. This is. This is Sarah apostrophe okay. S. Jacket. Okay, excellent. This is Sarah's jacket. Exactly, we talk about only one, so we only add apostrophe S, yes? Okay, next one, number five. Da, you have in parentheses dog. Toy is noisy. Yes. Okay, Luisa Chinchilla. What do you think is the answer? Okay, let's see. Wait, Luisa, because I don't see you. Permítame que no la veo. Um, okay, yes, you are here. Okay. Hola, Miss. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, dog, dog, dog. Okay. Apostrophe S. Yes. Okay. The dog's toy is noisy. In that case, we talk about only one. So we write one more time the word and we add apostrophe S. Yes? Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Good job. So let's see now. We develop this exercise. So remember, yes? Okay, the use of the apostrophe. Okay, good job. Let's see now. Personal pronoun in that case, okay? This one is the next topic that we study. So we have already made a review about, uh, let's see, possessives, yes? And also, what is the other topic that we have already studied? Okay, compound words, yes. Personal pronouns, okay? You have you, yes? He, when you talk about a boy or a man. She, if you talk about a girl or a woman. It, when you talk about, let me see, objects, yes? You are referring to it, or maybe places. We include you and others. You, okay, and they, that's mean a group of people, okay? They, excellent. So let's see, let's repeat. What are the personal pronouns? You, she, he, it, we, you, and they. Yes, okay, this one are the personal pronouns, exactly. Okay, good job. So let's see, now we continue with practicing, yes? Okay, we choose the correct personal pronoun. Maybe he, she, it, or they, okay? It's the pen of the picture. So you see the picture and you give me what is the correct personal pronoun. For example, a farmer. What is the correct personal pronoun? What is the pronoun that we use? for substituting this word, a farmer. What do you think is the personal pronoun in that case? Okay. Okay, thank you, Nicole. Let me check. Diana Marroquin, what is the pronoun? A farmer. What do you think is the correct pronoun in that case? A farmer. Hello. Hello. What is the correct pronoun, Diana? Um, he. He, okay. Yes, this one is he, exactly. You can say, a farmer is in a tractor. Or maybe you say, he is in a tractor. Yes, okay, good job. Next one, a book. What is the personal pronoun that we use? A book. Okay, Gabriel. A book. It. Okay, it, exactly, it. You can substitute by the pronoun it because this one is an object, yes? It, it is, okay, my book. Okay, good job. 
Gloves. What is the personal pronoun that we use in that case? Gloves. Okay, let me see here in the chat. Gloves. Okay, remember this now is in plural. Yes. Okay. Gloves. Ariana Hueso, what is the pronoun in that case that we can use for substituting this now? Gloves. Okay, Ari, can you activate your sound? Is it possible? Hello. Okay. Hello, I hear you. Okay, what is the pronoun that we use? Gloves. Mm. Gloves. They. Okay, yes, this one is they, exactly, because this one is in plural, so we say they, okay? They are my, okay? So míos. Okay, los guantes, good job. Next one, a dog. What is the pronoun that we use? A dog, Valeria Soriano? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Valeria. Okay, a dog, what is the pronoun? Mm, his? Okay, so let's see, it. Yes, exactly, because you talk about an animal, so you say it, okay? Excellent, thank you very much, Valeria. Let's see, next one. Okay, Mario, tell me. Okay, let's see. Next one, a girl. What is the pronoun that we use? A girl. What is the pronoun that can substitute? Okay, a girl. In that case, it's a person, yes? So we use? Okay, she. thank you. She, exactly, okay? We use she, yes, okay? Because we talk about a girl. She, good job. Let's see, players. Okay, players. Mateo Salmeron, give me the answer. Players. What is the pronoun that we use? Players. Hello, Miss. Hello. Mm. They? They, yes, they, okay, because this one is in plural, so we use they. Excellent. Thank you, Mateo. Next one, a family. What is the pronoun that we use? A family. Okay. Lucas, a family. The family. Okay, but we substitute by a pronoun. What is that? He, she, it, or they? This. Okay, in that case, it, yes? Okay, mm. yes. Hola. <laughs> okay, remember, we use he for a boy, okay, or a man. She for a girl or a woman. It, okay, abstract noun, nombres abstractos, yes? Okay, kids. What is the pronoun? Kids, in that case. Alejandro Mendoza, kids. Hi. Okay, in that they, they. case. Ah, okay, excellent. Yes, this one is in plural, so you use they, exactly. Thank you very much. Next one, a boy. Okay, a boy. Adrian, tell me, a boy. Okay, Adrian, activate your sound, please. Okay. Then I give you the participation, yes? Okay, good job. Excellent. So let's see. Now, okay, Jimena Enriquez. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Okay, okay, I hear you. <laughs> okay, a boy. What is the pronoun that we use? He. He, okay, yes. Excellent, he. 
Okay, him and Enriquez. One more time, we have a boy here, so we write he, yes? Okay, a rose. A rose, eat, exactly, because this one is a thing, yeah? So we use eat, yes. A ball, I don't a ball. Eat. Eat, exactly, okay, eat, yes. We substitute in that form, so that's me. Farmer, he, book, eat, gloves, day, dog, eat. Girl, she, players, they, family, it, kids, they, a boy, he, and a rose, it, and a ball, it, yes? Okay, excellent, thank you very much. So let me clear this part. Okay, let's see. Let me see here in the chat. Ah, okay, thank you. Okay, good job. Excellent. Thank you for participating in the chat. Okay, Luisa Chinchilla, do you have a question? Yes? Okay, telling me. Mama, do you me? <laughs> no se preocupe, yo soy su mamá también. <laughs> Ah, ok, sí, ok, Ay, entiendo. Está trabando mucho el internet. Ok, bueno, quizás la conexión está un poquito débil, ¿sí? Ok, hagamos algo. Eh, si quiere, si gusta, puede salirse e ingresar nuevamente. Vamos a ver si así se, se puede arreglar, ok. A veces suele suceder eso, ¿sí? Ok, excelente. So, let's see, let's continue. This one is, now we change, yeah, the sentences. Ok, we use. Yes, this one is a review for the test, exactly. We study right now, or we make exercises, okay, of the topics that I evaluate in the test. Exactly, okay. So let's see, now we change these sentences. For example, my father is tall, yes? Okay, he is tall, yes? Next one, this ball is a small. So what is the pronoun that we use? This ball is a small. What do you think is the pronoun that we use? Okay, you say it, exactly. Okay, so we can say in that form. It is a small, yes? Okay, okay, let me check. This one is, begins with capital letter. Okay, it is a small, yes? And this one is the sentence. Then this rose is red. What is the pronoun? This rose is red. Christopher. Okay, Christopher. Well, ah, you are here. Okay, right now. This ball is a small. Okay. Good afternoon, Christopher. Okay, telling me this row is red. What is the pronoun that we use? Um um i okay this one is a thing es una cosa o un objeto okay cuál es el pronombre que ocupamos para sustituir objetos okay this one begin with i what is that it okay excellent it is red yes Okay, next one. My father is a farmer. Okay, what is the pronoun in that case? My father is a farmer. Alejandro Romero. My father is a farmer. What is the pronoun? Active su sonido. Activate your sound. Ahora okay. sí se me escuchó. Yes, right now, yes. Okay, my father is a he, farmer. He is a farmer. Okay, he is a farmer, exactly, yes. He is a farmer. This one is the pronoun. My mother is thirsty. Alison. She is thirsty. Okay, she is thirsty, yes. Asta is my dog. 
Okay, this one is the name of a dog. Asta is my dog. What is the pronoun that we use in that case? Okay, let's see here. Let's, okay, thank you, Nicole. This one is it, exactly. Okay, it, it is my dog, yes? So we substitute in that case. Excellent, good job. So let's see, let's continue. So we are studying three topics right now, yes? Possessive, okay, personal pronouns and compound words. Next one, this one are the kind of sentences, yes? Okay, remember the last two weeks we studied the kind of sentences. We have exclamatory, declarative, okay, interrogative and also imperative. Okay, what is an exclamatory sentence? So you have the definition here. An exclamatory sentence is an exclamation and it ends with an exclamation mark. That's mean this one is the correct punctuation or the correct end mark, okay, la puntuación final. And you have one example here. Okay, Nicole, help me please and read the example that you have in an exclamatory sentence. Um, my dog is eating his food. Okay, let's check. Exclamatory sentence. My mom made. Okay, let's see. My mom made a most amazing cupcake. Yes, this one is an exclamatory sentence. Okay. For example, can you exclaim something? Okay, when you show a strong feeling, yes? My mom made the most amazing cupcakes. Oh, my mom made the most amazing food. Yes, do you consider this one? Yes, okay, excellent. Let's see, this one is an exclamatory sentence. Uh, let me see, okay, give me one example of an exclamatory sentence. Okay, give me one example. Okay, mom, I obtained 10 in my earful test. Yes, this one is sort of an exclamatory sentence. Okay, let's see. Alejandro, do you have one? Okay, tell me. <laughs> okay, you think about that. Yes, okay, so let's see. Excellent. So let me check. Okay. Aaron, do you have one sentence, one exclamatory sentence as example? Yes, okay, so. Give us your example. My birthday was in my birthday. Okay, yesterday I celebrate my birthday or was my birthday. Yes, it's gonna say an exclamatory sentence. For that reason, you're very happy, yes? Okay, good job. Then we have declarative sentence. A declarative sentence is a statement. This one ends with a period, yes? My birthday was last Thursday, okay? Or maybe Aaron says, my birthday was last Tuesday, yes? Okay, so this one is a declarative sentence. The majority of the sentences that I tell, okay, are declarative, yes? For example, tomorrow you have a test, okay? And the next week we take some classes, okay? Then we have a vacation week. So this one are declarative sentences. Okay, Jimena Enriquez, give me your example. Me, eh, también le quería hacer el de exclamatory. Okay. Today is a party. Today okay. is my party. Okay, today is your party. Good job, yes. And also the intonation is correct. So let's see, good job. Let's continue. Now, we have interrogative and imperative sentence. Yes, an interrogative sentence is a question. It ends with a question mark, okay? Did you do anything special for my birthday? Okay, so imagine that tomorrow you celebrate your birthday. Yes, and maybe you ask this question to your mom or to your dad, yes? Okay, mom, do you do anything special for my birthday? And maybe your mom says, no, I, I didn't think about that, yes? Okay, so for that reason, you are sad. Yes, okay, this one is on an example. Yes, it's not true. Okay, imperative. 
An imperative sentence is a command or a request. Okay, this one ends in a period and in some cases in with an exclamation mark or an exclamation point. For example, write a thank you note to your aunt for the birthday gift. Okay, this one is an imperative. That means it's something that you have to do. Algo que tiene que hacer, yes? Okay, write her a thank you note now, yes? Okay, so this one is a strong request, okay? Es algo obligatorio. For example, okay, imagine that your mom says, um, let me see. Okay, Alejandro Mendoza, study for the test, please. Okay, so this one is an imperative sentence, yes? Okay, good job. Daniela Blandon, sit down properly, please. Okay, so this one is an imperative sentence. Yes. Okay, all of this one, when you when a person give you a command or a request or an instruction, that's mean this one is imperative. Okay, all of this one are imperative sentence. And the correct punctuation is a period. Interrogative sentence, the correct punctuation is a question mark. Exclamatory sentence, the correct punctuation is an exclamation point. And declarative sentence, the correct punctuation is a period, yes? Okay, so let's see how many kind of sentence do we have? Four, yes? Exclamatory, declarative, what is the X? Interrogative and imperative, yes? Okay. And for an exclamatory sentence, we use an exclamation point. For a declarative sentence, we use a period at the end of the sentence. For an interrogative sentence, we use a question mark. And for an imperative sentence, we use an exclamation point. Yes? Okay, excellent. Do you have? Okay, thank you, Luisa. Do you have a question? Yes? No? Okay, okay, no, excellent. Okay, I give you this information in Spanish. Su examen ya está activado, sí? Okay, su examen de language ya está abierto, ya está aperturado. Si usted desea hacerlo, ahora lo puede hacer, okay? Aunque la hora sugerida es el día de mañana, sí? Mañana se le ha sugerido que lo haga. Pero si usted desea hacerlo desde ahorita, con gusto puede hacerlo. De acuerdo. Ok, no se le olvide realizar sus evaluaciones, ¿sí? Recuerde que tenemos hasta el viernes a las 6 de la tarde. También Paymanship cuenta como evaluación mensual. Envíeme las paginitas 3, 1, 2, 3 y 4. Eso está en la parte de atrás de su libro, ¿sí? Página 219, 221, 223 y 225. ¿De acuerdo? Usted tiene que trazar... Y hay una parte en donde le aparece, ok, eh, vamos a ver un versículo. Entonces, y luego tiene como mucho espacio. Ese versículo usted lo puede copiar entre dos, tres o cuatro veces, dependiendo del espacio que usted tenga y lo grande que sea el versículo, ¿sí? No solamente una vez, lo podemos copiar dos, tres veces. Hay otra parte en donde dice things to practice. Um, déjeme ver, creo que por acá tengo mi libro, permítame. Ok, vamos a ver, este es el libro, usted se va a la parte final, acá tiene sus exámenes y esta parte de acá se lo voy a mostrar, ok, vean, aquí tenemos esta parte, aquí usted va a escribir el versículo, este es el versículo, usted lo va a copiar una, dos o tres veces, dependiendo de la cantidad que le quepa, ¿sí? Y este cuadrito que usted tiene acá, ok, aquí está donde dice Things to Practice, Eso usted no lo va a tocar, porque ahí es donde la Miss le va a escribir las observaciones, ¿ok? Si en un dado caso hay alguna observación de hacer mejor el trazo de la letra M, hacer mejor el trazo de la letra P, ahí se lo va a escribir la Miss, ¿ok? Entonces este cuadrito que está acá donde dice Things to Practice, este no lo vamos a tocar, ¿ok? Digamos que este cuadro es solamente exclusivo de la Miss, ¿ok? Es exclusivo de Miss Amanda, ¿ok? Porque ahí le va a poner las observaciones. Ok, excelente chicos. Es el libro de writing, ¿sí? Writing with purpose, this one. Ok, por eso no tuvimos nuestra clase el día de ahora, porque tenía ese momento para usted poder trabajar las evaluaciones, aunque tienen el transcurso de la semana también. Solo no se le olvide enviarlo antes de las seis de la tarde, al igual que su lista de spell. Ok, okay chicos, un gusto haberlos visto este día. 
Nos vemos el día de mañana en nuestra clase de repaso de IFL. De acuerdo. Ok, la quiero mucho. Excelente, yo también la quiero mucho, ok. <ríe> Muy bien. Bendiciones, chicos. Bye, bye. Hasta mañana. Bye, Cuídese. Bye. Bye, bye. Ok, se pueden activar, bye. ¿sí? Ok, bye.